Good morning, everyone. It's Paulina here. Today is Sunday. Sunday, November uh, 19th. Welcome to our crib. <laughs> we are just getting ready to go. We're going to have a cool day today. Morning. What are we going to do today? Today we're going to go meet our friend Gitas. I promised him that I would show him a new climb on the bike. Mm -hmm. New hill climb at Volcano. It's really awesome, so he's excited. We're also we're gonna make him a nice goodie bag and give it to him at the market in a little bit. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff from the land and some things that we foraged. Goodie box, actually. Give me Mike's goodie bag. So this is called a banana rack, and Michael's cutting off the banana hands, and then each hand has. Banana oh. fingers. Stop. Correction. This is called the banana bunch, but I like to call it a rack. And this thing here, can you guess what that's called? It's called the ratches. <laughs> huh? The peduncle. <laughs> Which one's the peduncle? The top. This is the peduncle. Oh, that's the peduncle, guys. Currently, this box right here has all fruit from the land. Lilikoi passion fruits, star fruit, carambolas, and our Namwa bananas. Some of them split, so we put them in the box. We took them off the rack. Yep. Also, our first papaya. Oh, yeah. We blended in there. Everything's yellow. <laughs> Everything's yellow and green. All the yellow fruits. Right here in the nursery, we have two mangosteens that have sprouted we got these mangosteens from the natural food store like the day we got here or a couple of days after and we sprouted them and they finally came up and these trees are going to take a really long time to grow and produce fruit probably like 15 years or something but we got to start somewhere this is the bag of Lilikoi that Michael sacrificed getting bitten by fire ants to collect from this place. And this one is the bag of avocados that Michael sacrificed slipping down a cliff to collect. <laughs> All these were foraged yesterday. Foraged by the forager himself. Now my bananas. Star fruits from the land, lilikois, and avocados that were foraged. Some of you might be watching us because of Gita, so for a thank you, we're going to give them all this fruit. <laughs> and just because we're friends. Yeah. And that's what friends are for. Yeah. Looking out for each other. Not sure if anybody uses these water bottles, but. If you do, you know that these like nozzles get like gross, really gross and disgusting. So I just thought of a trick to clean them. I'm going to try to use an old brush head from the toothbrush and clean it inside. We'll see how clean it comes out. Well, it worked pretty good. I think a bottle brush works just as good, but for some reason we can't find one on the island. No stores sell them. So, since I have Lyme's disease... <laughs> so, okay, um... Yeah, I've been doing a lot of herbal teas lately. So every morning I prepare all my elixirs. This one is Chaga and Reishi. And I have my licorice and ashwagandha mixture in here. Usually I put orange peels in it because it makes it really good and cinnamon, but I don't have any orange peels. And this one is the best. It's lemon balm, thyme, and today I put raspberry leaf because I just got my period, and nettle leaf. Mm. And all this stuff is really good for your immune system and for killing bacteria and viruses in your body. And then I add lemon to most of them, and honey. 
<laughs> you guys still gotta go shopping, huh? Just um, pomelos we're gonna get. Right? Just some and citrus. Pomelos? And I, they have really good ones here. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll follow you in. All right. Okay. So right now we are gonna find parking at Maku Market, which is a huge market every Sunday. And they have a really good deal in pomelos. So we're gonna get some here and maybe some other citrus and I really need onions. Um, yeah, but finding parking takes forever because it's so busy because it's such a good market here. Hey Claire. Hi. <laughs> And we got a spot. Right near the pomelos. Right near the pomelos. This is perfect. I already tested it and my legs feel really good. And then I'm gonna come back to the car and eat and read and wait for you as I drink my licorice tea. Gosh, I'm so excited right now. Like so much me. The best climb on the island. <laughs> when you say a phrase like that, no pressure, it better be up to what I'm expecting. Let's do this.
Oh, this is gonna be legit, dude. Got trails too. Trails, baby. This one probably goes to uh, the cabin. So it's really cloudy up here now. We don't have the greatest view of anything, but that just means we gotta come back and check it out another time. It feels really cool being up here. One reason is because it's like dead silent up here. You can't hear any like man-made sounds, like no cars, no machinery, nothing. Really no animal sounds either. The only thing you can hear up here is like a little bit of the wind. That's it. We're gonna head back down and I'm feeling a bit wet, so it's gonna be cold on the way down. It's probably like 50 degrees here. We're back. Uh, what a fun climb that was. <laughs> yeah, the second half was really nice. <laughs> Guinness, it was so good, wasn't it? The first thousand feet were world class. So that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna mention, for anyone that doesn't know, Guinness has his own YouTube channel and he does focus on health and fitness and makes awesome vlogs so most of you already know him but for those who don't know here he is and he's gonna tell you about himself yeah so the YouTube channel right now is go vegan Gitas. you'll link it up in the description below it's probably gonna get rebranded soon because um I really want to focus on health and fitness I've always focused on health and fitness I guess I just really want to change my name so I'm gonna change my name and yeah come and join me on that channel I really try to pour my heart and soul in my YouTube videos and share my life, the good and the bad, and um, just trying to make it practical and, and doable for people to reach their health and fitness goals. So I hope to see you there. And you also uh, show people what Hawaii is like, what living in Hawaii is Oh like. yeah, that's what your audience wants to see. Yeah, so <laughs> he's like riding and running all over the place in Hawaii, so you get to see all those cool, beautiful places. And, and all, all the, the fruit beautiful fruits. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. See you guys next time. Aloha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>